Hey, what's up guys, it's Sam again with Academy FM, and this is the second part of the Future Base course. And this part, we're gonna make the drop synths. So, I already have a MIDI track right here. I'm gonna group it, I'm gonna call it group synths. Um, so let's start with actually writing the chords. So, I'm just gonna drag a basic wavetable in here. Give it a sawtooth, uh, some unison 2, classic. 20%, take the release down a little bit. So this is a very basic super saw patch. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna make a MIDI clip uh, in this four bar loop we have with the drums. So for this drop, I wanna be in A minor for this whole song actually. So that means we have all the white notes. So that's really easy to write in, especially for the people that aren't that experienced with uh, music theory yet. So let's start with the A. We're going to do all eighth notes. Uh, let's get this basic rhythm down right now. So we're going to start with the A. Maybe you go down to the F. Then to and then stay on the C right there. Uh, maybe go down to the G right here. Right, that sounds good. So let's write the chords over this bass line right now. So the first chord is an A. Let's start with an A. And let's actually find the, the top note that we want to use. So I chose the E, because that's the fifth of the A. Um, so let's write a basic melody uh, line right now with the, the top notes. So we're gonna go E, wanna go up right here. Um. Just like that. And then go from the G to the E. G is the fifth of the, the C major chord and the E is the third. Okay, nice. So we have the melody line. Uh, let's write the chords now. So I think I'm just gonna go basic triad. Um, except we gonna make this a sus2. So instead of the C, which would make this an A minor chord, I'm gonna use the B. And actually the second chord, I'm gonna make this just an... I'm gonna make this uh, a ninth actually. So this means we have the F, the A and the C, which ma makes this a uh, basic F major triad, but I'm actually adding in the G, which is the 2 or the 9. Now let's see how both the F and the G sound.
Yeah, that sounds good. Maybe when this walks up, I want to delete the F, because then it plays the same note in the both octaves. Uh, get rid of the G here and the A here. So you still have all the harmonics, but they're not playing the same note, except for the bass. Uh, so then, the C. Uh, let's see, I'm just going to get the C right here. Maybe the G. And just the E. So you have a C, an E, and a G. And then again the C. So this is just a basic C major triad. So then with the G, we're going to play a G, a D, and G, and a B. So this is a basic uh, G major triad, except with an inversion, because the D is actually on the bottom instead of the top. So now we have the chords. Um, I'm actually going to open up Exhale now for the first time. So with this, we're going to write the... Like the uh, the top vocal melody thing. Uh, I'm not sure how. We can use the notes. We can use the loops or the slices. Uh, let's go through some loops right now. Let's set it to A minor. So... Axel has a ton of different loops, so it's just really going through them and looking what fits with the chords. Do you sing for me? Maybe we can change this note. To minus five. Hmm. Let's try a few other ones. go through the slices a little. Uh, we are still in A minor, okay. Uh, let's see. Vortex. I really like these two notes together with the chords. So I want to go on this note.
These are really loud. Let's see if I can... So that sounds good, so let's try to play that in. Okay, and then with a the new capture feature, in Ableton 10, we can capture this. Uh, click on quantize, and it should be on time. Maybe add an extra note in this last sequence. Okay, nice. Um, see if there are any. Yeah, I'm gonna take off the reverb. I'm gonna take off the motion as well. This last note isn't. Um, okay, so let's add some reverb now. So I'm going to go into audio effects, reverb. Add a lot of reverb, make the size bigger as well. Uh, give it a low cut. Set the quality to high. Um, maybe you can do a trick with the dry wet. So I'm going to go to automation mode. Select dry wet and then for every note I'm going to get the reverb up to 100. So it kind of builds up to the next note. Mm. Maybe you can do that with a separate reverb. So, actually, just gonna keep it like that. I'm gonna group it. Uh, actually, I'm gonna put the driver to 100. So this is normal verb. Then we're gonna go to sweep and then the dry. So the sweep verb is going to be really long. We're going to automate the, uh, the volume on this. So we're going to go from 0 to, let's see, to actually from minus infinite to 0. So we get this sweeping effect. I'm going to do the same for almost every other note. Actually, if this sweep verb is too loud, I'm just going to put a utility behind it and put the gain down. I'm going to put some multiband band compression on the whole thing. And some glue reverb as well. Uh, some EQ between the two. This note is really loud, so I'm going to turn that fundamental down a bit. Change the pitch on this last note. And increase the normal rear. Alright, so that's our vocal. Now let's build up the uh, Big saws. So I'm actually going to switch this out for Serum because it's more powerful. Um, we can do more with it. So load up Serum. Oh, that's really big. Let me set the scale down to 100. Okay. 
So you want to have like a kind of a plucky sound almost. I'm going to put the octave up. Uh, I've given it seven voices and messed with the blend a little bit until it sounded good. I'm going to put this to a square wave. Give it five voices, also a little bit less detuned. Maybe give it a little chorus. And also get this bass note up an octave because it's really muddy. Now let's give it an EQ. Cut out everything below like 150. And let's duplicate this and make a more detuned, more stereo layer. So I'm gonna put up the detune. Band is all the way to the left. And make this a saw as well. Band is all the way to the right. Give it the same unison, the same detune. Uh, maybe give it some reverb too. And put the envelope on the mix so it doesn't like Give it a big tail. Alright, so let's put this down a little bit. And let's make a big bass layer now. So we have our main saws. We have our support saws. And let's make a mid bass. Now I'm gonna delete all the, the chords. So we just end up with the bass notes. And I'm gonna make this an octave. So we, there's two notes playing at once. Um, I'm actually gonna turn out the voices to like three. Uh, get rid of the chorus and add some distortion. Add some low mids. I'm gonna duplicate this, make this the sub layer. And in the MIDI file, I'm gonna get rid of the top note, so it's only one note playing at once, because we don't want the stereo at all. Um, so I'm going to change the EQ to a low pass. Get rid of oscillator A, make this a one voice. Uh, we can keep the distortion, I guess. Let's edit the main saws. Um, maybe I'm going to add a layer of white noise. Just to give the top end a little bit more power. So I'm going to open up Operator. I've already put the EQ all the way here. So we don't have like a massive wall of white noise. I'm going to set the first oscillator to noise white. Give it some sustain so it's a plucky type sound. also super mono so I'm gonna make this all the way stereo with the Haas effect and uh, now the Haas effect is just uh, left right the left channel is a little bit more delayed than the right the right channel is not delayed at all so it creates kind of an illusion
So I'm going to group these synths so it's easy uh, to organize later. So I'm just going to drop synths. I'm going to put some multi band compression on the bus and maybe some EQ. And then the sidechain. So I actually want a quite aggressive sidechain. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a hi-hat. Now let's see. It should be fine. Create a channel in the drum bus. Name this sidechain. Now put this right here. Make it super short, super quick attack. Just like that, consolidate, normalize it, and then put the output to sense only. So it's not actually giving us any sound, but it just creates a signal so we can make a sidechain signal with it. So I'm gonna put this on every kick and every snare hit. Let's see, just like that. So just to be clear, you won't be hearing the sound. It's just for the sidechain signal. Uh, so let's go back on the synth group. Uh, let's get a compressor. So this compressor is already set up for me uh, for side chaining. So normal compressor will look like this. You have to click the little triangle here, enable side chain, enable the EQ, audio from side chain, threshold all the way down. So like I said, we want quite a quite an aggressive side chain. So I want that yellow line all the way down here. Now this EQ is normally if you get a signal from a kick or a snare, so you can really dial in which frequency you want to sidechain. But in this case, it doesn't really matter. Uh, so let's hear it in context. Uh, so what I'm actually gonna try is a little trick. I'm gonna disable the, um, the reverb. I'm gonna freeze this. I'm gonna create another audio track. I'm gonna drag the frozen file over. I'm gonna unfreeze this. So now we just have the audio file. Audio file. So I'm gonna turn it down. I'm gonna reverse this. I'm gonna put a reverb on it. And also, um, let's see, let's use native plugin for this, utility gain. Um, yeah, so I'm going to put this on um, a sawtooth almost kind of sound. Now let's see if that sounds good at all, or if it just sounds weird and boring. I'm gonna freeze it and reverse it again. So now we have that sweep together with this one. Vocals a little bit loud, so I'm going to turn both of these down. Okay. 
also going to put OTT on the synth bus now. Don't worry, I'm going to turn it all the way down. To like 20%, put a glue compressor after it. Cue the mid bass a little. And the sub. Maybe make it a uh, saw wave. Now you may hear uh, all these clicks from the sidechain, but you don't really hear that in the final mix, so I'm not worrying about it. So I'm gonna EQ some high frequencies from this vocal. gonna make the sweeps where the synths are, aren't playing a little bit louder. Uh, maybe we can do a little kind of fill in this part because no synths are playing here. It's just the snare and the vocal. Uh, so I just want to do a little, um, let's see, operator uh, with no displaying, the F. So let's enable. Maybe a little. Let's see, put this to zero. Little sweepy boy. Compression, oh, not a gate. Just like that. Just right there. Let's see, F. Uh, we can freeze and flatten that, it doesn't really matter. It's more of like an effect sound. Maybe a little pluck right there as well. So I'm gonna go into Serum, uh, let's Element Keys. Maybe this one. Also freeze that doesn't really matter want to mess with the audio a little bit so I'm gonna get rid of this tail um, I'm gonna control E this and make this way louder and then fade it in to get a sweep and then consolidate this whole thing Maybe make it even quieter in the center. Uh, so let's see. Control E. Make this super quiet. Minus 15. And also fade that. It's not silent, but it's also not really audible. 
Maybe we can fade it from left to right as well. So let's see, left. 20 left to 20 right. Then delete these points. Maybe try an octave up, or five, or seven. And also give it some, some room. Uh, maybe also a tom fill. Uh, let's see. So not this one, but this big one. And then grab this right here and reverse it. I know this is the synth part, but it sounds cool. So. Okay, so I'm going to save it real quick. I'm going to duplicate that. And then I'm going to repeat it twice. And then for the second part, I'm going to take out the drums. Um, let's see what I want to do. Uh, yeah, I'm going to select this all. Press zero. So now it's all disabled. And then we can make a little fill here. So I'm going to put a filter on here. Also going to mute the sub in this part. Actually this part too. Um, let's see. Hopefully this works. And point there. Maybe some reverb. Go, go from 100 dry to 0, 100 wet I mean. Uh, so let's see how that sounds. Um, maybe also grab this tom right here. Faded. Make this louder. Also give it some more high end. Okay, cool. So let's see how the drop synth sounds right now. So this is then the end of the uh, the drop. Then again, I'm gonna mute the sub and filter it out this time. I make the reverb go up. Um, I'm gonna go to like eighty percent, and the filter goes down. And 
also the drums. Go away. Okay, cool. So that's like exactly the same note as the vocals playing, but an octave up. And we can do this one too. Um, so yeah, that's the synths in drop. And stay tuned for the next part.